And welcome back. So they're calling this thing the great resignation. It's put employers in a tough spot as millions of Americans have left their jobs for a whole lot of reasons, including seeking better benefits and wages. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reported there were more than 10 million job openings at the end of September as companies work to deal with those staffing shortages. Now, in response, orders for robots in North America are hitting record numbers. The Association for Advancing Automation says the total number for, of robots ordered this year has hit $29,000, worth roughly $1.5 billion. Now, that may not seem like a huge number, but consider this. That's a 37% increase from the year prior. Robots and automation can be used in, of course, a number of ways, including on assembly lines, in self-checkouts in retail stores, and even carrying plates from restaurant kitchens to servers. So what does this mean for the future of the workforce, and will this trend continue? Joining us now to discuss is emerging technology futurist Ian Kahn. Thank you so much for joining us, Ian. Now, we've heard for years that uh, robots and automation would eventually take over the workforce. Is this labor shortage we're seeing right now actually going to be the catalyst for this? I think a short answer, yes, it will be. But if you go back into history, you know, the last 100 years of the industrial industrialized world, we've had uh, four different or three or four different industrial revolutions. And every time there's been a new breakthrough in technology, you know, jobs have suffered, of course. But it's also an opportunity for people to upskill and, and to grow within these industries. I mean, we cannot escape industrialization. We cannot go back and turn the clock back and say, no, we need less technology, less automation, because the world as we know it right now will stop working. Uh, the world that we know right now will stop working. That's true. But is moving towards automation simply just more cost effective and and what does it do to the worker because with every form of kind of industrialization that we come to there is a generation of workers that seems to be displaced by that it may be better for future generations but there seems to be a generation that gets displaced are we going to witness that with the generation that right now can't seem to find work of course, uh, what is happening right now is you've got literally five different generations in the workforce. Uh, you've got uh, every set of uh, the generations out there working in a, in, a, in a factory, in a company, in an organization. And what is happening is the skill set that they bring is very important to how organizations are now hiring, who are they retaining, and so on. So that's just one part of it. The other part of it is profitability. What are organizations and companies and private and other sectors looking at when it comes to making profits, delivering shareholder value? Uh, many times corporations, yes, they get blamed for you know tr not supporting workers, but this is not about not supporting workers. It's about profitability. And machines, robots, both software robots and hardware robots uh, do some tasks really incredibly, incredibly well. For example, if you look at modern warehouses today, the Amazons of the world, uh, robotics is making those warehouses work. Yes, when it comes to restaurants and serving people and, and picking up plates, that's just a very, it's very early in, in early stages of that. But in a factory floor, you cannot live without robotics. So what do the workers do? Do they do they compete with with ro robots in that case? There's no there's no competition. There is no competition because the value some robots bring to the workplace is irreplaceable and people cannot do those tasks. Well, and so here's the the, the big question I've had is since the onset of the pandemic and, and really about from about six months into now, we've kind of seen, you know, we see the great resignation. We see 10 million open jobs and taking the technology portion out of it. It, it feels like the workforce has changed. We, we call it kind of a, a transition in the economy almost as people are able to telework, as, as people are able to kind of be where they want to be. Some people even realized, hey, I can stay home with the kids. My husband or wife can go to work. And, and that is OK these days because we were able to figure it out during the pandemic and we could continue that going. So has that workforce changed in your opinion? I think uh, the other side of the great resignation is the great realization where workers are finding out that they're worth more, they can do more, uh, and they should take care of their health, mental health, physical health, and you know spend more time with family. I think it's a great time for people to do what they really want to do and to work the way that they really want to do and, and support their families and so on. Ian Khan, Emerging Technology Futurist. Thank you so much. We'll do this again. Thank you. Well,